<laughs> Hi, in this video I will show you how to make a flower lapse, which is a time lapse of flowers either blooming or withering. If you don't know what I'm talking about, have a look at this video. Impressive, right? Well, here I will show you how to make them from start to end. That is, I will show you how to take the pictures with your camera and then how to edit them in your favorite video editor. Yes, I said shots, uh, because although the final output is a video, it consists of photos taken in a controlled environment. Basically, the idea is to take a photo of flowers every five or 10 minutes for a long period of time, say, for example, a week or so which is the appropriate time to let flowers either bloom or wither. When the pictures are put together, it gives the illusion of a continuous passing of time, exactly how any other movie is made. For this you will need the following. Flowers, of course, not every kind of flower, and I will give you some advice by the end of the tutorial. You will need also a camera, preferably a DSLR, in which you can control exposure. You will need a tripod and also an intervalometer which is something like this. This is basically a device that allows you to take pictures and at, at every specific interval. You will need a light to keep a constant exposure in all the photos taken by the camera. You will need a spare battery for your camera because you will need to change it once in a while. Remember that I just said that the camera will be taking pictures for a long period of time. You will need also a spare battery for your light or even better than a light that can be plugged to the power. And believe it or not, you will need a controlled space in which you can leave your camera taking pictures without bothering anybody else. And also where you can be sure that nothing will mess up with the exposure. This can be a studio, an empty room in your house, or even a closet. So now that you have everything, the first thing is to build the set. That is setting up the flowers, the lights, the camera, the tripod, everything. Make sure everything is in place and nothing can move during the time that the camera is taking the photos. Also, make sure to put your camera in such a position that will allow you to change the battery without messing around with the objects. Next, set the exposure in your camera. Keep your exposure balanced, that is, neither underexposed nor overexposed. Next, set up the intervalometer, which is this thing over here. And basically, I guess that all intervalometers work the same and uh, you need to set up the interval in which uh, each photo will be taken. In my case, I shot uh, every 15 minutes. And also the number of pictures that you want the intervalometer to take. In my case, I chose the infinite number of photos, which basically means that you will have to stop the intervalometer manually. And I did so after a week when the flowers were completely dead. Now that everything is set, hit the start button in your intervalometer and let the magic happen. Remember to check your camera once in a while to see if the battery needs to be changed, the memory card still has a space, the lights are still on and everything is in order. Okay guys, so after taking the pictures, uh, we go to the computer. Naturally, we import all the pictures to the computer. Uh, we go to Premiere Pro or to your favorite editing software, editing software for video that is. We create a new project, I will call mine Flower Labs, how original. Um, I'm gonna create this in the desktop. And starting with a new project, I will first import all the photos. This might take a while, depending on the number of photos. And uh, also remember to shoot in JPEG, because I believe that uh, Premiere Pro cannot read RAW format. And if you shot in the RAW format, then it's gonna be a painful uh, editing process, because you will need to convert each of the photos into JPEG. Uh, which I think the easiest way would be to use something like um, Lightroom. But if you can avoid uh, from the beginning to, to, to shoot raw, then do that. 
Okay, so now that I have the pictures in the in the project, I start by creating a new sequence. We're going to find new sequence. Then, as you can see, there are many formats here for the output. I will go with the simplest, which is uh, digital SLR, 1080p, 24 frames per second, which is uh, will give this amazing film look. But you can also choose uh, 30 frames per second if, if if you are trying to give like a more video look for this. Anyway, that's 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 your choice. Uh, now that I have created the sequence, I will import all of the pictures, all of the photos, to the sequence, like so. One really nice thing about Premiere Pro is that it imports everything in order. I think everything in order based on the chronological order, which is also captured by the name of the file. I hope uh, you're, if you're not using Premiere Pro, I hope that your software does that. Otherwise, uh, you will have to order this yourself. Also, as you can see, the the um, the picture doesn't take all the frame. You can see that it's cropped. This is because uh, uh, it was shot in a larger format than 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 what a 1080. 1080 uses so in order to make this image fit in the in the in the screen I'm gonna click only only one the first one I'm gonna go to effects control which I was there in the first place I'm gonna scale the picture until it fits so here as you can see I have passed I have to go a little bit more and here is right yeah something like 69 or 70 would be nice then i will copy right click copy don't be afraid this will only copy the the effects i will choose everything else all the pictures except for the first one and then gonna right click again and i'm gonna choose paste attributes and be sure that this thing is selected and this will paste the transform effect that I just modified for the first picture, for the first photo. Now, as you can see, this yellow box indicates that an effect has been applied and you see all the pictures now are fit perfectly in the, in the frame. Yeah. Now notice something else. Notice that the length, the, the, the duration of, of each of these pictures in the screen is of five seconds. Premiere Pro does, does that uh, by default, and we have to change that. You have to change that to, to only one uh, frame. The, the, each picture will be, each photo will be shown only for one, one, one frame. And this will, of course, give the effect of, of, of uh, constant transition of time. So for that, we choose everything, uh, every, uh, every picture we go to speed duration and here we change from five seconds to one frame yes and we choose ripple edit this will compress all the this will tight all the pictures it will avoid making uh, empty spaces from one one picture to the next and will condense everything and as you can see now if i zoom I see all the pictures again, but now the duration of each of them is of one frame. And if I play, now you can see beautifully how this effect is done. Now don't worry if it looks like this, if it looks like a bit uh, uh, jagged, but it's only because uh, Premiere Pro is rendering the thing at, the, uh, uh, at playback. Once you export this, it will look amazing, it will look uh, like the video I showed you uh, at the beginning of, of this tutorial. And then you're ready to go. One word of advice of what flowers to use. If you're doing a withering flower lapse, I will recommend to use flowers that don't drop leaves as they wither, because this will give the impression of a broken video once you put all the images together, just like in this video that I also did.
All right, so one last thing before you go. The time lapse that I showed you at the beginning of this tutorial was created for a short film that I did a couple of years ago called The Scenes for a Funeral. It's a philosophical comedy that occurs during a funeral. If you'd like to watch it, just follow the links below. And if you'd like to watch any other short films that I made in the past, you can find them in this very same channel. And if you like this, subscribe and share. Thank you. Ha 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 ha!